Good morning! It's story time. So today we're going to be reading a book called Llama Llama Loves Camping. Have you guys been camping before? Hmm, I wonder if your camp, if you have, I wonder if your camping experience was similar to Llama Llama's. Let's see what Llama Llama gets up to during his camping trip. And it is written by Anna Dutney. Dutney. Okay. Dutney. I'm excited to go camping tomorrow, Llama Llama tells his friends. He has never camped overnight before. And neither has Nelly New, Luna, Gilroy, or Uslid. It will be super fun, Mama Llama says. And Grandma Llama and I will be with you the whole time. Camping is going to be very difficult from being at home, says Llama. Luna nods. We'll be out in the open under the trees and sky. And we won't have any kitchen or house things like a refrigerator, an oven, or light, says Gilroy. Uslit looks worried. After all, he does love gadgets. We can't use any machines while we camp, he asks. That's right, says Mama Llama. We are just going to bring the essentials. Essentials are the few things that we really need. But don't worry, Uslid, it's only for one day and night. The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive at the campground. Welcome to our overnight adventure in the woods, says Grandma Llama. Llama Llama and his friends cheer loudly. Yay! Everyone has one bag except Uslid. He's carrying two. Don't worry, he explains. I only brought the essentials. That's a lot of essentials, Nellie says with a laugh. So essentials are things that you, you definitely need. Okay, campers, says Mama Llama. Let's go for a hike while it's still light outside. Uselit pulls a handheld gadget out of one of his bags. I can plug our route into, our di into my directional device, he says. Remember, Uselit, Llama says kindly, no gadgets allowed. Uselit sighs. Okay, he says, putting it away. Not using gadgets isn't going to be easy. So gadgets are things like phones or laptops, okay, cameras. Mama Llama leads the campers along a trail in the woods. Wow, says Llama, looking around. These trees are so tall. I wonder how tall they are, Uslid says. Can I measure them with my digital tape measure? Luna shakes her head. No gadgets, she reminds him. Oh yeah, Uslid says. When the group gets farther into the woods, Mama Llama asks the campers to stop for a moment. Let's listen to the sounds of nature, she says. What do you hear? Llama pauses. Hmm, I hear birds chirping, he says. I hear leaves rustling, says Luna. I hear a tree creaking, says Gilroy. Nellie points to a bee. I hear him buzzing. She says, I hear all that too, says Uslid, and I can hear water flowing in the distance. Did you hear these things when you went camping? The sounds in the wood are very different from the sounds at home, says Luna. Yeah, says Nellie, those are machine sounds. Beep, ring, ring, wee ah, wee ah. She laughs at her imitation of a siren. Uslid pulls a tape recorder and camera from his bag. I want to make a recording to remember the sounds, he explains. Mama Llama smiles at Uslin. For this trip, let's just listen hard to remember everything, she says. I forgot, says Uslin. This no gadget thing is harder than I thought. After their hike, Llama and his friends help Mama Llama and Graham set up camp. Instead of a house, they have a tent. 
And instead of a refrigerator, they have a cooler with ice. And instead of an oven, they have a roaring campfire. It takes some work to camp out, says Mama Llama, but it helps you appreciate the nice things you have at home a little more. Later, the campers eat a delicious dinner around the fire. And now it's time for dessert, says Grandpa Llama, handing out sticks. Do we just eat these, asks Gilroy? No, says Graham, laughing. You eat these marshmallows after we roast them in the fire. See they're having a campfire? As the sun sets, everyone roasts marshmallows over the fire. They taste delicious even better than a dessert you make at home. It's getting pretty dark out, says Nelly. It is, says Usulid, but it's pretty nice roasting marshmallows in nature, he adds, with no gadgets. Finally, it's time for bed, and inside the tent, the campers get cozy in their sleeping bags. Once they're all, all tucked in, Mama Llama has an idea. Let's listen closely to the sounds outside and pretend they're music she says. The campers close their eyes and they, ha they hear crickets chirping. They hear a bird calling. They hear the wind whooshing and an owl hooting. It sounds like they're all talking to each other, says Llama. The music of the forest is very peaceful. And as they listen to the nighttime sounds, the campers slowly drift off to sleep. In the morning, sunlight streams into the tent. The campers wake up feeling refreshed. Mama Llama and Grandma are very proud of Llama and his friends for spending the entire night in the woods. But everyone is especially proud of Uslid. Good job, cheers Llama Llama. You didn't use any gadgets on our camp out. Thank you, Uslid says. It was a fun challenge. I like the woods. And the other campers agreed. Can we go on another hike before we leave? Nellie asks. We sure can, says Grandma Llama. But first, breakfast. We can use my electric waffle maker, says Uslid. Oh wait, he adds. That's kind of a gadget, isn't it? He's made it this far without using machines and he isn't going to stop now. The end. Hope you had fun listening to that story. Bye.